Hello and welcome down onto the Tech Desk and in today's video we're going to be looking at this. So this is the Timesgate from Devoom. And if you've heard of Devoom before, I've looked at a couple of their products before and this is their very latest one. And essentially what it is, it's five customizable screens in this quite cool looking package. So what we're going to do is we're just going to be talking about the product and then we're going to go through the app. Um, they're just going to go through things I love about it and there's a couple of things that probably reckon it or could be improved on. Okay, so first up, we're going to be talking about the unboxing because look, it came in this Timesgate. Okay, in like a nice little bag and then it has like this big on-brand plastic case uh, and it comes sat in there with just a cable and that's all it's going to do. All you're going to get is going to get this and the cable. Okay, just thought I'd show you this off because this looks really nice. And then putting that to one side, um, when you fire it up, essentially what you're going to do is you're going to be presented with kind of like a demo, but you can change these five screens to be anything you want. And we'll talk about the app later on. But as you can see there, I've got basically my, my channel, uh, the information about my channel, information about the weather, a clock, uh, world clock, and then I just picked an image from the pixel art gallery that we'll, we'll, that we'll talk about. So here it is then. So we've got the five screens, and if you look really closely, they're really good quality. They're nice and sharp, showing plenty of information showing there. Okay, and then they're wrapped up in like this plastic, see-through plastic shell, and then we have all these kind of grey plastic bits on the outside, and these two orange feet. Um, so the two feet here, they use to sit on the desk. If you don't want them on, you can just pop them off. If you just want it sat on the desk like that, I kind of like keeping the feet on because it raises it up just a little bit. So on the top then we have like your, your physical control panel and they're kind of like rubber feeling buttons and they're quite stiff to press in. But I like that because when I've been picking it up, you don't accidentally press it. So light here, that just changes the light mode. So when I talk about where the lights are in a bit, we have power. So that just does on and off. That's your brightness. So you can press that and it will change the brightness. So brightness down, there we go. And then brightness up and then mode, which changes the mode of the screens. So you can have like two set and then it will change. So if I press mode now, it will go through and change it to the next kind of set of screens. And then if I press mode again, it will go back to what I had it on before. And then on the back, we have it here. We have the cable plugged in. Now, it needs to be plugged in all the time. This doesn't have an inbuilt battery. I would have liked to have seen it with a battery, to be honest. It's a bit of a pain having to have it plugged in. I know all the other, most of the other products I've got from Devoom have this, uh, have a battery in, so I just need to charge it up. I think that would have been better for me personally. Um, I just don't want to have this cable attached. But if I talk about the cable, it's a good one. As with all of Devoom products, it's a really nice USB type C cable. Okay, so I've just got it plugged in over here. Um, it's nothing super powerful. It's just plugged into a hub there, and that is enough to power it for me. So once you click it, um, then it starts to fire up and turn on. Okay, so here we go. There we go, like a demo screen. And then this is one of the issues where when you turn it on, it invariably goes to kind of like the stock screens. You kind of have to fire up the app to get it set on or press the mode for it to go onto the screen. I'm. There might be a way of loading up onto your favorite setup of screens. I just haven't found that as yet. Um, so on the front then, we have some RGB. If I am just knock these lights down a little bit, it'd be easier to show off the RGB. Okay, there's some RGB there around the sides. There, both sides. And then we have the RGB on the back. So if I press the light button, it will flick through all of the different modes we have. And then the cutouts here was just kind of like shining through again with the RGB. So a nice set of RGB lights on either side. And with these ones, it shines out kind of at the back. So if you have it up against the wall, it kind of really brightly shines on the back there. So that's quite nice. Now, if you want to control this uh, to well, what goes on the screen, you've got to use the app. Um, and if you've used a Devoom app before, uh, good luck. It's it's okay, it does what it needs to do. It's just, it could be better. I find it quite um, not very intuitive to use, but all you're gonna do is you're gonna add the times gate and it needs to be um, the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. So then once you're connected, you'll see that this here, and then you can change all of these. So you can have a design animation, pixel color, music, alarm, cafe celebration, and that will change onto here, okay? So let's do, for the first screen, let's do, a noise meter. Okay, let me start and then what it do, it will change on here. 
Okay, and then, and then the noise meter on there like that. So you could noise meter if you want to. Uh, let's stop that and change it to something else. So let's do a scoreboard. So you can have a scoreboard and that will change on here. And then we're going to do one, two, two nil, two one, two all, three two, four two, five two. Reds have absolutely spanked blues. Okay, nice. And then if you want to, you can do some other bits. If you want to, chat noise me to more. Uh, yeah, whatever. Let's go to those five screens that I showed on here. And the way you do that is you click on this button down the bottom here with these squares and you have three options. You have one which will do all of them. So it would, it would spread across all five as if it were one screen. And then you have the individual screens there. You see them? They're the ones that I've set up. Or you can change the, over on the screen, you can have it on the lights and you can change the way that the lights rotate. So you can have your, you can do your set one. So instead of pressing this one up here, you can set how you want it to go. So let's focus on this one first. So we've got uh, all across one screen and let's do YouTube channel list. And then it will change the, and then it change back my YouTube channel and then my views and then just a weather thing at the end there with the time there, if you want to. So it's spread across the five. Uh, you can have sci-fi neon cyberpunk one uh let's do uh cyberpunk cryptocurrency okay you can have a look at your cryptocurrency if you want to uh just pick one or you can just design your own and stick one there if you want to uh the one i use the most is this one this is the middle one and this is what i have it stock set in that you can add different screens if you want to so let's add a screen and then we can choose five so we choose the first one uh, let's choose it to be, uh, no, let's do DIY analog clock. Okay. So the DIY analog clock will pop up there. There we go. And then if I go back and then the second screen I'm going to use as a uh, visualizer. Let's do that one. There we go. Perfect. Brilliant. Yeah. Lovely. Um, and then just choose the three that you want. So on the, on the, like I'm saying, on the top one here, I've chosen uh, my YouTube channel, which you can just do a search for the, the name of the channel, uh, the weather, the clock, that. And if you want to set it up, you just tap it and it will, and it will appear on there after a few seconds. Uh, there's loads of different things you can do for this. And then if you wanted to get rid of the screen, you just hit delete. I'm just going to delete that one because I'm not going to leave that one. And then it will flick back to my original one showing all of those. As you can see, it's not the fastest, but it's okay. I just wish the app was a little bit more intuitive to be able to do because you can do things like draw and stuff on here um, and add screens and it's like, so let's say for example, this duck here, um, it goes to that screen. I'm not sure how I get it to maybe that screen. There is a way, I'm sure of it. I just wish the app was a little bit more intuitive to work out. Uh, and then when we're on the lights, you could change the sign lights, we can change the back lights if we want to. So let's change the back lights to be uh, that. There we go. So it's changing the lights or we'll go back to rainbow if we need to. S sparkling lights. Yeah, whatever. You can change that. So that was a quick rundown of the app. Um, basically what I've done is I've picked something that I like and I've just kept it. I've just kept it there and just changing on the mode if you want to have uh, like a, a second screen on there. Like, Personally, I think this looks fantastic on my desk. I've been using this now for about a month or so, and it looks brilliant on my desk in their background. I've used it in the background on a couple of my videos, and I just think it looks really smart. And there was definitely people asking, what is that? That looks a bit, a little bit cool. It's um, a little bit plasticky, but uh, whatever. So there's my brief look at the Davoom Times Gate. Um, like I say, positives, I think it looks ace. Got loads of options to be able to put on there what you like. Really like the look of this sat on my desk, especially in the background of maybe streamers or when we've been doing a video. The only negatives are it would have been nice if it had been a battery and the app takes some getting used to. Hey ho, if you can live with that. Okay, so let me know. Let me know your thoughts on this, the Divoom Timescape. Let me know down in the comments below. Okay, that's it then. Thanks very much. Do like, do subscribe. Until the next video. Bye bye.